Heidelin Diaz makes Olympic history as she wins the Philippines' first gold in the Tokyo Olympics, claiming the top prize in the women's 55kg weightlifting Monday, July 26. Diaz clears 97 kilograms on the snatch and an Olympic record 127 kilograms for a total of 224 kilograms as she edges Lao Chi Yun of China, who finished with 223 kilograms. Diaz, who is also a silver medalist in the 2016 Rio de Janeiro, becomes the second Filipino to win two Olympic medals. Philippines' Nesty Petesho takes down the women's featherweight number one seed, Chinese Taipei's Lin Yu Ting, with a 3 2 split decision win in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics boxing competition Monday, July 26. The victory puts Petesho just a win away from a medal as the 2019 world champion moves on to the quarterfinals. The Davao del Sur native is the first Filipino boxer to nail a quarterfinal berth. She goes for at least a bronze when she competes in the last eight bout on Wednesday, July 28 at 10 a.m. Philippine time. Another Filipino boxer, Carlo Paalam, also overcomes Ireland's Brendan Irvine to win his first bout in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics Boxing Tournament's Men's Flyweight Event 6 at the Kokogikan Arena. Paalam claims a 4-1 split decision win over Irvine, a two-time Olympian, in the round of 32. The 22-year-old Filipino progresses to the round of 16 where he'll face Algeria's Mohamed Flisi, a three-time Olympian, on Saturday, July 31 at 10.48 a.m. Philippine time. In skateboarding, Marjolaine Didal ends her Tokyo 2020 Olympics campaign with a seventh-place finish in skateboarding's Women's Street event on Monday, July 26 at the Ariake Urban Sports Park. The 2018 Asian Games gold medalist tallies a total of 7.52 after scores from the run face and her second trick. Meantime, despite suffering a shocking exit in his pet floor exercise event on Saturday, July 24, Carlos Yulo still has a shot at winning a men's artistic gymnastics medal in the Tokyo Olympics. The 21-year-old qualifies for the vault finals with a score of 14.712 in the qualification stage as he lands at 6th place, with the top 8 gymnasts advancing to the medal round. Yulo is recovering from a hip injury that hampered his performance in the Tokyo Olympics.